This is the 2012 Kia Rio. Nothing from the previous generation has been carried over. The chassis is new. The sporty five-door is new, as is the interior. Even the price is new. It's $395 cheaper than the previous iteration. Starting at $14,700, it makes it the least expensive vehicle in its segment. Kia says the old Rio was like driving a penalty box, but this new one is more like a box suite. Kia is going after what they call the mature millennial group, which is the 25 to 30 year old range. I'm right in that age range. I think they're right on the money. It's well built, it's good looking, but it's also well priced, it's not huge. You get a lot of bang for your buck. I think this should do really well in the segment. Kia figures that the mature millennials want style and also technology, with the old Rio did not have at all, but this new one has it in spades. It features Kia's newest acquisition, the Uvo, which is a voice-activated media management system. The new interior of the Rio sets it apart from the segment completely. It's really sporty and surprisingly refined and has switches that were inspired by airplanes. Under the hood is Kia's third generation Gamma motor, which is a 1.6 liter inline four. It makes 138 horsepower, but it's also capable of reaching 40 miles per gallon on the highway without having to add an extra eco package. Kia has flipped the orientation of the motor under the hood so that the intake is near the front and the exhaust, the hot side, is near the back and makes it more efficient and able to stay cooler. Kia expects the subcompact market to double by 2015 with over 800,000 annual sales in the U.S. alone. Kia hopes to corner that burgeoning subcompact market. With the new Rio, Kia focuses on ecological sustainability. The vehicle is 85% recyclable. Even the seats are made from castor oil, which is completely biodegradable and different from the standard petroleum-based seat foam. The new Rio looks spectacular and drives just as well. Kia has taken the last bastion of the old Kia and completely overhauled it. In doing so, they've given the subcompact segment a new gold standard.